Okay, this is for your eyes only. I built my first one, the Larry's Automatic Water Cell. I just got this sitting on an angle because it's just sitting on the deck here. But what we got is, we put, uh, took a rain gutter, and we got uh, treated 2x4s on, on either side, and screwed to that, and that supports the rain gutter. And then I cut some ones for stand, so you could just put this in the garden and level it. There'll be a float here in the end, okay? That maintains the water level. This is cool here. This eliminates the two bucket system. You take one bucket. All you need is one bucket. You drill a hole in there and you get one of these little rascals. A net cup. It's a three inch net cup. It goes right in this two and seven eighths inch hole. Okay? Look at that. Perfect. And this sets right down in the trough. Okay? A lot. I can put 10 buckets on here. 10. Plant it and never water it again because this float that I'm putting in this end will be hooked either to a rain barrel or it can be hooked to a garden hose and automatically do it. I'm going to have 50 buckets. I'm going to have five of these units. Now, you think that's some? Check this out. Now this is my strawberry system. I'm hooked up for it can be strawberry, lettuce, or anything. But you do, you put another rain gutter on top and you put the net cups through. And you plant this whole thing full. And you can put radishes in there, green onions, uh, anything like that that can be grown shallow strawberries. This will be covered with black plastics, no flies getting anything. This will be heaped up with the potting mix and then be the little slits cut where the each plant goes and they'll be planted there'll be 10 in here I'm gonna have three of these up 30 strawberry plants same thing float in the end nothing will ever need to be watered again Larry's automatic garden grow system pretty slick huh ciao